traveling and traveling to so many countries without knowing anybody without even knowing the la- language also and uh, when i was in england i have to go meet several people with an address walking in the streets and you know it's, it's those streets in in london are not the main london when you go deep points you can't find anybody on the street and it's not good to even ask anybody knock in the door to ask if, is this address so well? the same applies to australia australia was much better but japan i suffered quite a lot because the language you can't read the language and stick to a movie it is a great experience without anybody knowing but once you know to travel that path that remains in your mind that you can explore i been but tuta born on 24th february 1304 and married in sultanate died on 1369 in the married sultanate commonly known as ibn batuta was a berber maghrebi scholar and explorer who traveled extensively in the lands of afro eurasia largely in the muslim world ibn batuta said traveling it offers you a hundred roads to adventure and gives a heart wings yes that was the beauty traveling means what is trying to tell us flowing water is fresh for the traveling don't stop even for a second when you are sick when you are sick the whole body doesn't move just move the legs and hands keep changing the room from one room to another keep walking take hot water bath keep the body non stop in a state of alert and the foreign matter which entered your body you slowly lose interest and run away that is my experience but you have to drink a lot of hot water yes warm water if possible mm. traveling it offers you a hundred roads to adventure adventure means something creative like the what the kaisen said adventure every one thing when you see it maybe you can write it down because writing might help you to turn around the pages and check which date which month you went but i i too wrote it but basically it is in the mind even after decades after decades i it can i see a particular thing it just comes out flashes out exactly the words spoken in that particular japanese village or australian city or london or kuwait anywhere you call it or singapore or malaysia or indonesia <sighs> it is there in the mind yes the way i traveled from here to nepal or the way i took the flight from tokyo to hong kong everything it is up to 10 10 20 25 years back or 30 35 30 years back and from hong kong to canton canton to beijing i didn't know the Jap- chinese language at all made friends with the chinese people inside the train from beijing to shen shenyan border of north korea and back <laughs> it is still there that if that is creative and that is not kaizen if that you cannot apply it back then you are a failure apply it back means connect back to your family and it automatically flows back to your joint family to strengthen the family tree if you are not done it you have been declared dead alive yes or you have to be buried alive because some of them just sit people are walking like a dead body it offers you a hundred roads to adventure varieties you can choose it or you can keep the varieties to use it according to your circumstances and gives a heart wings first time you find you cannot purchase a boeing jet you cannot purchase a helicopter not even a bicycle but you can fly yes you can fly just you are reached at place but if you have not seen that place you cannot reach that place it's only a dream 
you interact with the people, but you should have guts. Not with the travel agency which goes for three days and comes back. When you walk alone, alone and alone. Yes, alone is what I'm talking about. Alone. Even to learn languages, I just sat with the, with the people in that particular country. For three months, I don't mix with anybody else. On the third month, language came over so. <laughs> It offers you a hundred roads to adventure and gives a heart wings. That adventurous thing is the most powerful thing which you have been able to use the totality of your body. And you could uh, put everything in proper order. So when you come back, every time when you come back home, you don't have to come back. Your mind hits your home every time. And then save and then you spend. That helps to strengthen the family. My neighbor person is always telling, in the beginning days, uh, new students come joining, we don't even take any papers because we thought there's a problem in the society. Parents come crying and they put the children. We didn't know what fight was going on. We just take, sometimes it's, it's around uh, 10 years, 12 years, 14 years, kids and all uh, just coming and suddenly, they found <laughs> this is not their place. And without telling us, they run, jump and run, jump and run. And one day morning, around four girls were missing. I went to the neighborhood. I asked a security guard. He said, yes, they were climbing the wall. They had bags. They jumped and they were walking and going. I said, why can't you call me and tell me? He said, we are scared of you. <laughs> Yeah, I thought your children has been freedom to climb, jump, run and talk. If I talk anything against or about your children, you come and fight with me. So I went to the owner, the, that area owner. And he was telling, oh, 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 you are always foreign man going around the world. So you are giving the children all foreign food, all foreign style, foreign dresses, foreign language. They saw all that thing, now they want to run. <laughs> Too much. It's not good. Don't give them too much. So, oh, giving. When you give, you have to be careful. You have to give little by little. Kanigo was telling me today, the, um, the rabbits, she took out of six baby rabbits, three taka taka died. She found out that the children going and touching the um, uh, uh, rabbit ba babies, the mother will just throw them up, pum. She won't even feed them. Mm. So she has made sure that nobody touches. Those kids have not been touched. The mother takes care. They don't allow others. Mm. Another one thing is she brought the um, uh, rabbit to the to the room, and she suddenly had a heart attack, and she shook and she died. One of the rabbit, and she found that even to introduce to the human beings also, you should be step by step. Suddenly, out of the blue, you take from the cage and start. Showing to the dogs and cats, it will have a heart attack. So adventure is good, working is good, but introducing every small, small drop, yes, like the drip, drips or it goes small drops into the body and it becomes very, very strong. Helpful. Keep traveling. Traveling is not that you go around to see the world also, but it offers an opportunity. Please go. You don't need money to travel. First travel right in front of your house to your next door neighbor. But make sure you travel to every relative. If you have 800 relatives connected, you go to one, you can connect to several. Co connecting, that alone takes you to so many areas. And those are the people which will allow you, love you, and take you inside. You understand philosophy from that. That is the travel which I'm looking. If everybody can do that travel to your latest houses or to the latest countries, I think you have done the stability, the family tree. That makes you the strongest. That makes you to keep your health very good, to see the truth and to see the God. Traveling is health. Keep traveling.